Hello everyone. I'm going to tell you today about unwanted friend. That is COVID. Uh, so unwanted friend happened to me too. And I'm going to tell you from the perspective of paranormal side. So the dreaming, lucid dreaming perspective and a little bit more psychological. Um, but for those of you who would like to, of course, uh, know, so yes, the symptoms are all the same probably for everyone. And I had quite quite the same. It took me two days of delirium, sweating, fever, and so on, so on, and an inability to go even to the bathroom uh, to deal uh, with simple, uh, simple thinking even was hard. Uh, but I wouldn't probably be better so soon if not for all the great polish people with all the list uh, of the things to take and the supplements vitamin and c zinc uh, amantadine and uh, of course a very high dosage vitamin and c uh, coal and oh my god there's a whole list i took a lot of those I didn't take everything because frankly, if I would take it all, that would be like a good meal, you know, so I would just live on supplements, but extremely high dosages of vitamin C uh, uh, can tremendously help. So it was already better on the third day. Uh, unfortunately, I got out there to, um, uh, I had to get out to the pharmacy and there's strong, strong wind in Spain and that of course now sits on my throat so uh, it won't be a long video although I always promise that uh, I take it a little bit longer time uh, so I'm going to tell you now from the perspective of the dreaming and two years ago when the first time this uh, sort of um, uh, coronavirus happened in the world uh, and I, we didn't know much about it. I had uh, this dream that it was a very female energy that it was created. It is uh, coming to consciousness. It's pretty new. It was looking uh, blue, uh, greenish, and uh, she had a long, long nails. And she was looking for a consciousness, not really aware. When I went into uh, process work to see uh, what's, go what's going to happen. I felt like I have a fever. Uh, I became her because that is a part of the shape shifting to understand what's happening on the other side. And uh, uh, in a nutshell, uh, what came out from that process was that it's upgrading our immunity, uh, our immune system to another level uh, and uh, also prepares us for something that is going to happen and that was basically it i forgot about the whole thing but recently um in all that fever and in all i try to process it um uh, recently one more time what now so this time when i try to focus on the energy how it feels you know all these pain in the muscles uh all this uh weakness uh, I saw something very rough. This time it was like a male, more energy, very aggressive, very piercing through. So I took a pillow and I started, of course, to punch it uh, and uh, see where it wants to go. It wanted to go very deep inside, like very, very um, aggressively and to the very end. So I continued with that as much as I could, of course, in my situation. And what turned out? Um, this piercing energy was like a metallic, was a rough, was cold, was dark, uh, and it entered the field of the um, oval shape, beautiful shape of a golden light or just light. So this is what I saw. Now I, in, when I interpret it, I can tell it's a tissue, it's a cell of the human body. Uh, but of course, in that uh, stage, we need to be careful to not over interpret things. Uh, so when I got there and this felt very good to do that, to be that virus and, you know, get to the core. Uh, what I could not that time understand it because I passed out. Apparently I needed to sleep. Uh, but 
uh, I came back to it and you know that cell let's call it cell for now it was very bright it was uh, very shiny and that piercing energy was very dark uh, and a lot of uh, people now talking about this polarity of darkness and light uh, in the world considering spiritual world what is happening also materialistically uh, now uh, and in my process that also makes sense here because when you take the light and the darkness they need to meet at certain point and uh, that whole reset what people are talking about the financial the the uh, on every possible level right now uh, it is like um, integrating harmonizing uh, fighting light and the darkness at the same time so that was my process i wonder if any of you had something similar please let me know about it i would love to hear it because i know many of you work also internally you also have visions you also have dreams um now after all that process uh i um I'm still recovering. I'm still not uh, so much, you know, in uh, shape, of course. And um, I went out there and there was a strong wind here in Spain. So now my throat is not so good. But um, considering uh, the process, it always, it takes over peers, you know, bleeds into my dreams somehow. I currently, for three weeks, don't watch any uh, sci-fi, don't watch any shows, uh, and I had this peculiar dream after, right after I processed that, uh, let's call it Spanish COVID. Uh, so, uh, I'm so sorry, I need to do this time, I'm really good with the water, but this time I really need to take a sip, I'm so sorry about that. It's just, it's so dry, you know, I'm drinking so much these days, but it's, it just feels so dry. I do not have a hangover, I promise you that. Okay, I can make it. Uh, so I had a dream about a beautiful couple. They were so beautiful. The lady had a long black hair. She was, the skin was so beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Like they, they look like gods. Uh, and at a certain point, she gave him a sign and the next moment, she started to take off her skin uh, from her face and released something that looked like a robot, very metallic, very cold, very scary. And unfortunately, I had this strong impression in the dream that they live forever, but now it's time they show, they reveal themselves to the humanity, but they didn't have a good intentions uh, toward humanity and now again what is the sensation is one thing what is the interpretation is another thing so my sensation was they do not have uh, good intentions rather bad it was this fear when I watched it uh, but my interpretation was uh, but I do not remember that that's why I'm calling it now interpretation they wanted to destroy humankind as it is now I don't know next because the dream ended but I wonder again how these things are connected and why uh, the virus is um, in the vision at least mine please let me know if it's also happening in yours it's always very metallic also feels like artificial intelligence uh, it could be our collective subconsciousness uh, it could be something that we all perceive in a similar way. You know, it's just like the like the other times. Every century, uh, people view things differently because it's in our collective. It uh, it it's how our psyche works, our subconscious works. So in an ancient times, people were seeing evils, uh, devils, demons, and so on. These days, a lot of people see reptiles, um, aliens, and so on. It started actually quite a bit uh, in time. Uh, so whatever it is, I always uh, honor our together experience because it doesn't matter the name we give it. It matters 
what quality that is, what it does to us, and what can we actually do about it, uh, living in the world we live in and how to make it better, how to uh, make it functional for us, for us and for, uh, for ourselves, how to navigate through it in the best possible way. So how is that connected? You tell me. Uh, for me, uh, of course, it is um, very much related, the whole reset in the world, the everything what's happening, it influences us. So, of course, we have to pay attention if it's our subconscious fear, how this world will be. Uh, maybe we heard about, maybe we were programmed, because everybody talks about a certain uh, topic, so obviously we are going to dream about it. That's how it works. That is this uh, subconscious programming. Uh, so we need to take that into account. However, uh, stating all of that, uh, let's find out uh, what's, what's more is there for us to discover and is it really something scary is it really giving us this new immunity uh, improving our immune system uh, is what is good about it what is bad about it what is warning what shall we be more careful about those kind of things I'm leaving you with and I uh, invite you also to my uh, currently I'm republishing my first book of Oracle series and I'm inviting you to get your copy and I hope you're going to have a wonderful reading it's re-edited one more time uh, so I hope now it's gonna be really smooth read uh, for you and for those of you who love paranormal stories um, and actually big portion of that is my personal life although everything else is a it's a fiction considering other people uh, the dreams the visions are totally mine totally mine so if you do dream if you find yourself in the book I would love to know about it and uh, if you also meet other creatures in your dreams in uh, lucid dreaming uh, please comment on it and uh, let me know who that is uh, and we are going to continue and explore the wonderful uh, multi-dimensional world have a great day out there and looking forward to reading from you bye bye